What's up, tennis players? Coach Jeff here. I'm at the beautiful Chenal Country Club in Little Rock, Arkansas, and today's video is part one of a series, How to Practice Tennis by Yourself. Today is how to train tennis serves alone. You're gonna need your racket, a tennis court, something to mark out the service boxes with. I have some blue painter's tape here. You're gonna need a basket of balls, and you're gonna need our tennis practice PDF that you can download in the link here, or somewhere in the description, you can click on the link. Now keep in mind, an important way to improve at tennis is simply getting out and playing matches. There's a limitless amount of things that can happen on a tennis court, and you wanna get as much experience as you can practicing those different situations. Also, getting out and playing better players. Having a bigger ball come at you and hitting a bigger ball back is a very important part of getting better at tennis. However, if you don't have access to a match or another person, there's no excuse not to get out on court and practice a ton of different things that you can do all by yourself. So before we get into the actual practice session, you're gonna to wanna to take some time and get warmed up. If you have a little basket of balls, go through the whole basket. Really give your arm some time to get warm. You're gonna be hitting harder serves and more accurate serves, and you're gonna be preventing injury if you take that time to do so. So I think everyone has experienced playing great at practice and then crummy at your competitions. Really, the secret to any good practice session is to have something on the line. Find a way to put some pressure on yourself. So that's where our PDF comes into play. We're gonna have a scoring system today for our practice. If you don't have the PDF, find some way to calculate maybe your first serve percentage, or maybe have a score for yourself on hitting targets. How many out of 10 can you hit the target with? So I've seen some pretty high level players go a very long time without being able to hit a cone on the court. So what I like to do, and what we're gonna do for this training session, is we're just gonna divide the service box in half. If you can consistently hit the outside or the inside of the service box, you're doing pretty darn good in tennis. Okay, let's go through our serve practice. Hopefully you have your PDF. Go ahead and keep score with me and uh, let's see if you can beat my score. For our first exercise, I'm gonna go through four targets out wide and down the center on both sides, the deuce and the ad side. I'm gonna hit five balls to each target and give myself five points for each target I hit. Your total will be out of 100. Let's see how good you can do. Now, you'll notice our PDF has four rounds of that. You can either go through all four rounds, just maybe using your second serve trying to hit the targets, or you can alternate between your first serve and your second serve on those rounds. Okay, now we're gonna use our imagination a little bit and pretend we're playing a game. We have an opponent on the other side. We get two chances to get our serves in. If you make the serve in, you win the point. But I'm gonna make sure to try to get my first serve in first, and if I miss it, then I'm gonna hit my second serve. Play four games, keeping track of when you make a first serve in, when you make a second serve in, and when you make a double fault, and then use the equation on the PDF to calculate your first serve percentage. Uh. Well, I had a pretty good day today. Some might think that 100% of your first serves in is too good, but since I'm averaging 142 miles an hour, I think it's okay. Now, just in case your first serve percentage isn't high enough, here's three quick tips to increase your first serve percentage. Number one, give yourself a bigger target. Give yourself some room for error. I promise you, even though it might seem like Roger Federer's aiming for the line, he's not. He's giving himself some room for error. Number two, take a little pace off the ball. Just reducing the speed a couple miles an hour 
is going to allow gravity to have a bigger effect on the ball, giving you a larger acceptance window over the net. And finally, add a little bit of spin. If you have a proper understanding of serve fundamentals, you should know how to produce a forward rotation on the ball over your head. Now, serving isn't just a matter of a spin serve or a flat serve. You should be able to have degrees depending on how safe you want to be. You can add a lot of spin to be really safe, safe for your second serve, or you could just add a little bit of spin to increase that first serve percentage. So it's important to keep in mind, serve practice like this is going to help you with your accuracy, maybe improve your first serve percentage, improve those subtle things. It's not going to drastically add 20 miles an hour to your serve or teach you how to generate spin over your head. If you need to improve those things, you need to take a step back and look at your fundamentals and find a qualified tennis instructor to improve those. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Ah, oh, come on, son of a...